decided to get back into raising quail. So I have dug out our incubator, which has not been used in a couple of years. This is a Wright Farms 3600 Pro Digital Incubator with Automatic Egg Turner. Uh, because the cheapest route to gaining any kind of new poultry is the egg route. <laughs> because it's, I think they're about $7 a piece right now to buy adult quail. So we are going to buy some eggs, probably maybe three or four dozen, and get started that way. So I've got the incubator up and running just to make sure that it's still working properly. The temperature and humidity <laughs> gauges are not accurate. So I've actually got some extra thermometers and hygrometers in here to gauge the temperature and the humidity because I kind of want to get an idea of how far off these gauges are. So I've actually got this set at 104 which is the highest that this will set at because when you look over here at my thermometer I've got it's only showing that it is about 95 or so and 104 is the highest that I can set this, so I don't even know if it's going to get up to 100 where it needs to be. The humidity here shows 67, but this one that I put in shows that it's about 72, so it's a little bit off as well. We've got two minutes left on the countdown to see whether or not the turner still works. I have not seen that turn yet today. The power actually flashed off a few times today because we had a little bit of a pop-up storm come through. And every time the power would go out, it would reset this number back to two hours. So it's taken me all day long to finally get to see this, but we're gonna find out in about a minute whether or not that egg turner still works. Now, like I said, this incubator has been in storage for approximately two years. So it was kind of dirty and I had to clean it all out and sanitize it, but um, so far, I mean, I'm impressed that it's actually working as well as it is. <laughs> so if the turner works, that would be great. So the turner works, that's great. Now I do have a third thermometer <laughs> that actually has dead batteries right now. It's a digital. So I'm going to pick up some batteries for that and see what that shows as far as the temperature goes because if I can't get the temperature up to 100, I don't know if it's going to work to hatch anything. So 95, 96 degrees, I don't think that's going to cut it. So either the gauge is wrong and my little cheap thermometer is wrong or I just need to scrap it and get a new but quail, we are very excited about getting back into quail. You know, we had quail for a few years and then up until, I think it was last summer, it was after the fire, um, a raccoon had found out how to get into our, where we were keeping the quail and basically just wiped them out over the course of a few nights. And with everything going on with the house, I just did not have the time to get in there and fix it the way it should have been fixed. and it. It was terrible, so so we're excited to get back into the quail. Uh, they are a very efficient, quick little animal to have on your farm. They reproduce at a young age, they will they mature at a young age. And they only take a little over two weeks to incubate in the incubator, so they're just, there's a fast turnaround with quail, and they are delicious. They actually are really easy to clean, easy to butcher. You know, they're small, so you have to eat more quail than you would like a whole chicken or something. But, um, but they're easy and fast, and that's what we like about them. So I'm excited about getting back into quail. This was one of the more natural habitats that we housed the quail in at one point. And I really enjoyed this because it was really fun to watch the quail in something more natural to them, the way they run and hide, and, and it was just a lot of fun watching them in this sort of environment. It definitely makes it harder to collect eggs though, because they tend to hide the eggs, and so every day turns into an egg hunt.
but it was definitely my preferred housing method for the quail just because I felt like they were happier in this sort of environment. We've also housed them in suspended wire cages, which I really didn't prefer. And then eventually we built some this long cage that goes alongside one of our barns, and it actually worked pretty well. So that's where we're going to house the quail now in the future as well.